Hi, welcome to another tutorial from Juan Rojo Photography. What I'm going to show you today is basically how to use Google Analytics to pinpoint the sources of uh, visitors to your website. And the best way to do this is to create a custom report. Um, I already have some pre-made reports here and the one that I wanted to show, show you is daily sources. And let me show you what the report does. It uh, basically shows you um, unique visitors, not repeat visitors, but basically unique visitors throughout the day. And if you drill down here, you can see the date, and obviously this is the day where visitors to my website spiked uh, dramatically. And I'm going to explain why. Um, and it tells you the time that people spend on the site and time per page. It really doesn't make sense now, but if you drill down and you click on the day, these were uh, some of the sources that provided visitors to my website yesterday. As you can see, I created a, um, an ad for Craigslist uh, under the Creative Services category. So I just wanted to track you know, the effectiveness of the ad. Uh, were people looking at it? And once they uh, clicked on the link, were they clicking on the link for the website or pricing? Because I created a separate link for pricing on the ad. So I just click on it. And there you go. People went to the pricing uh, page, which I have separate on my website. And you can, you can see here even the time that they spent on that page. Now to go back, you just have to click the uh, back button. And, but yeah, it, it gives you a bird's eye view of where your visitors are coming from. Um, I also have a campaign going on right now with a wedding directory, uh, which is a pay per click campaign. And yesterday th there were no visitors from that uh, website that I can see here. Uh, Facebook.com, I posted a blog which also automatically posts to uh, Facebook, so these are probably visitors that are friends of mine. Uh, so basically, uh, I, I wouldn't put that much emphasis on the visitors coming from Facebook. Um, let's see, what else? And organic search from Google. Free people. And well, this, they didn't spend a whole lot of time. But anyways, uh, what I want to show you is if you want to get something, a report like this to help you in your um, online marketing efforts, let me show you the structure of the report. So just go to Manage Custom Reports and the Daily Sources Report. Click on Edit and it's very simple. You just drag the metrics that you want to um, uh, measure here from the blue uh, square here to um, this row and now once you have that then you say okay I want to break down this by day and further down by source where, where the, are the people coming from so basically think of it as when you saw the report previously um, it, it's going to show you the day first and it's going to show you the time on site, time on page, and the number of people. But if you keep drilling down, then it's going to show you, okay, for that day you got these sources. And if you keep drilling down, it's going to show you the page title that they went to, and even the country or and city that they came from. Because it's great if you're getting a lot of visitors from um, Canada, which is my case. But if uh, like 50% of your visitors are coming from other countries, then it's not very useful if you're trying to run a business uh, that doesn't deliver products to those countries. And in my case, it's wedding photography. So uh, unless they're going to book a destination wedding, that's not much use for me. All right. So this is basically a structure. Unique visitors, time on site, time on page, then dimension, day, and if you keep drilling down the source, page, title, country, territory, and city. Uh, so preview the report and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
Let's open this up. Okay, click on the day. These are the sources. Okay, if you want to see, for example, on Craigslist. Click there. All right, and sure enough, a lot of those visitors clicked on the pricing link that I um, selected or that I actually put in the ad. Now, if you click there, it goes even further. They came from Canada, which makes sense because it's Craigslist Toronto, really. So there was no uh, chance there to get visitors from other countries. And then you can further break it down by city. All right. So that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I hope it was useful for you.